Welcome to our Sportsnet studios. My name is Eric Gage. It's Thursday. What we're going to try to do every Thursday is give you the opportunity to catch up on plays and sounds of the week that you may have missed. It's a beautiful mishmash of the two. It's easy to forget when watching a AAA game how turbulent the clubhouse actually is. Prospects hoping every day to get the call. Veterans literally playing out their careers. Middle of the road guys just hoping to get that one last shot at the bigs. All led by a group of coaches who themselves are hoping to maybe get the call to the show. Add to the fact that Alex Anthopoulos is never afraid to call up a player or send one down and you have the making of a very possible tumultuous clubhouse. Baseball and numbers go hand in hand. Stats have always been part of this great game. But recently, in the last decade or so, it seems like a new number, a new stat, emerges every day. A new mathematical formula to help us evaluate a player's performance. Essentially, it looks like the nerds have taken over baseball. Well, until that day happens when the two sides finally embrace one another, we can all take comfort in at least knowing that What's between the lines, the diamond, still belongs to us athletes. And while nerds may dig their stats, I'm pretty sure chicks still dig the long ball. Go deep, kids. Go away out there. Hang on, we'll just do that again. Chicks still dig the long ball. Call my shot. Chicks. They'll dig the long ball. Tonight, it's your patriotic duty to either cheer for the Canucks, which is slang for Canadian, or for the Canadians, well, which also means Canadian. It's only logical that diehard Maple Leaf fans cheer for their biggest rival. It makes perfect sense that Calgary Flames fans hope that their bitter divisional opponents advance while their well, team sits at home. But well, Winnipeg. Well, first of all, I think the Phoenix Coyotes were going to go there six well, months I, ago. Oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry. I hate to cut you off. We have some breaking news here, folks. Uh, okay, this is... Okay. okay, it appears that Kay Milton has arrived at the ceremony. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. She is... You know, I picked Washington. Alex Ovechkin, one of the best players in the NHL. Okay, this hang guy. on a second. Look at this, folks. Great news. The chance of rain has decreased from 20% to 11%. Fantastic news. So it looks like they will get the wedding in. Sorry, Brad. We were talking about hockey. My bad. Um, today, it's going to be about showing you how difficult it is to spot a Bach. One of the trickiest things for professional umpires to call. Fun here. Here we go. Watch this. Watch really closely. Did you see it? You didn't, you didn't see it there, did you? Okay, watch this again. Once again, the umpires, they do such a bang-up job. Every night, watch this. Oh, see, he falls asleep. It rarely happens, but the pitcher actually falls asleep there and is unable. Now, he tries to cover it up, you'll notice, but the umpire, a good umpire, will see that. Okay. The Heat took care of the Celtics. Yeah. Are they going to win it all? Look, Eric, the way they played against Boston, the defending conference champs, you'd have to think they have a great shot. Right now, they've come together. To me, they're the favorite in the East. Okay. All right. There you have it. Paul Jones, our NBA expert, says the Heat have run out of gas. Hey, boy, sorry. Maybe next year. Hold it, hold it, All right. Let's hold move it. to Eric, the West here. That's not what I said. Uh, Carol, that's what, no, that's, what the, that's what the board said. Or who's the MVP so far? Well, I mean, you'd have to say Dwayne Wade. I mean, he was terrible during the regular season against Boston. He was the difference why they beat Boston and why they could win the whole thing. Okay, there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. There you have it. Paul Jones thinks an alien invasion is uh, soon upon us. Thanks for doing this, Paul. I appreciate it. What? Ultimately, I thought Tampa just looked like the better team. Well, I think that the goaltender, Tim Thomas, struggled early on. I also think that Boston was incredibly <laughs> slow. <laughs> Sorry, that's mine. That's mine. That's on me. They were fired up and they were ready to play. Yeah. The Boston Bruins, on the other hand, not ready to play. Tim Thomas. You see that? I think there's a. Oh, yeah, there's a. Look at this a little there's a drip or something. Oh, fellas, guys. I need a new monkey. Yes, it's a, okay. Can we take a look at that? I don't want Mr. McSorley to get wet here, guys. Start for Tampa. Tampa came out and they were ready to play. The Boston Bruins. Oh, that's Tim a leg Thomas. cramp. Oh, oh, I haven't get one of those, Marty. Oh, my God. They oh. just. Oh. oh. Okay, oh. Where's, where is the other camera? Okay. Where's the camera where I am oh. the joke here? Hello, I'm Martine Dyer, wishing you and yours a very happy two. Uh, Are you serious right remember, now? Remember these things? Pretty cool, eh? Eric, for real? <laughs> I'm Damien Goddard. On behalf of everyone here at the Connected Studios, we wish everyone a happy... 
They said that this would... I thought maybe you might catch... But... Just... Can't... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it. He's sitting right here. I know I've seen what's happened here. I'm not... I'm not going to do it. This is stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you're right. You know what, Brad? I've, I've been a little bit childish. I've been immature. Yeah. I, I apologize to the others, but I, I just I really would like to end the show with a little bit of integrity. You're, you're Brad Fay, and nothing's going to happen. I just It's for the viewer at home. I just maybe, You're going to blow the horn in my face. No, you? Yeah. no, no. You know what? Like I said, I apologize. That it's over. Okay? okay? I don't even have it with me. Just for the viewer. Trusting. For the viewer. All right. I'm Brad Fay of uh, Sportsnet Connected, wishing you and yours <laughs> <laughs>